The Cricket's Violin Have you ever heard the saying, practice makes perfect? Maybe you like playing sports or drawing pictures or even catching rat-tailed possums in the swampy bayou. I know I do. But to be good at any of those things, it takes practice. No ifs, ands, or alligator butts about it. A few years ago, I heard a remarkable story about a funny little fox named Bo Little. Bo Little's dream was to play in a band. Specifically, he wanted to play in the best folk band east of the Mississippi. They called themselves the Frog Legs, on account of that they were, well, frogs. But not just any old frogs, the hippest hopping thing anyone has ever laid two ears upon. The only problem was that Bo Little didn't know how to play any instruments. That didn't stop him from going to the open auditions the Frog Legs held every year to find new and upcoming talent that could join the band. Bo Little had already auditioned two times. The first year, he tried playing the harmonica. Wow, that is bad. Whew. The second year, he tried playing the banjo. Crow Daddy Ice Cream, this is even worse. Every time, the band just laughed at that poor little fox and said, Better luck next year, Bo. They knew Bo couldn't play any instruments and just let him come back each time so they could make fun of him. Yeah, I know, that's not very nice. Now, at this point in the story, you might feel bad for poor Bo, but remember when I asked you if you'd ever heard the saying, practice makes perfect? Well, it was clear that Bo hadn't. Bo was lazy and grew up thinking everything should be easy. He thought if he wished hard enough, he would magically be good at something. Bo was headed to his third audition, and this year he was going to play the violin. Maybe I'll be good this time, he said, skipping down the street. Third time's a charm. Suddenly, Bo tripped over a cat walking across the sidewalk and would have broken his back if the violin hadn't softened the fall. But as he lay on the ground, a most beautiful song flowed into his ears. It was music. Not just any music, though. The most amazing violin music he'd ever heard. Bo picked up the broken violin and followed the beautiful music through a grassy field, under a stone bridge, and into an old wooden house. Bo couldn't believe what he saw next. In the middle of the room was a little cricket rubbing his legs together to create this amazing violin sound. All around the cricket were buckets of water placed underneath holes in the roof. He bent down as far as he could and watched in disbelief as the cricket finished the song. How did you do that? Bo asked. With many years of practice, replied the cricket with a deep, soft voice. Playing the violin is like breathing to me. The strings are my lungs and my bow is the air that I inhale. In and out, in and out. Ha! Huh, said Bo with a confused look on his face. You could be making like a ton of money, you know. I do not do it for the money. I simply wish to share my music with the beautiful world around me, said the humble cricket. Hmm, thought Bo. He had a brilliant idea. I'm on my way to an audition, and I was wondering if you could help me. As always, Bo had thought of a way to avoid hard work and good old-fashioned practice. He asked the cricket if he would hide inside his pocket and play his music while he pretended to play his big violin on stage in front of the frog legs. The cricket thought long and hard until he finally came to a decision. I will help you, but you must help me with something in return. Like what? Bo asked with a skeptical smirk on his face. My roof is littered with holes, and when it rains, the water drips into my house, making it very hard for me to play the violin. 
If you help me make a new roof, I will play my violin for these so-called frog legs. Boo wasn't super excited about having to do hard work, but if it meant he could finally join the frog legs, he was in. Bo and the cricket spit in their hands and shook on it. When they arrived at the audition, the frog legs were already laughing at Bo, especially after he walked on stage with his broken violin. Thanks for coming again this year, Bo. It's always a laugh. I, I mean, pleasure to have you. <laughs> Bo was ready to prove them wrong since he had his best kept secret in his shirt pocket. When Bo stepped on stage, he didn't waste any time. One, two, three! Every jaw in the room dropped. Was this actually happening? When Bo finished, the room was completely silent until the crowd burst out in applause. That was amazing, exclaimed the band. We're sorry we ever doubted you. Yeah, sorry, Bo. With a few quick handshakes and some slaps on the back, Bo was invited to play with the frog legs. Finally, his dream had come true, and he didn't even have to do any hard work to achieve it, at least not yet. The next morning, Bo showed up at the cricket's house at the crack of a rooster's call just as he promised. I'm glad you could make it, Lazy Pants, said the cricket as he handed Bo a bucket of nails and a hammer. Hey, I'm not lazy. I'm just motivationally challenged. Besides, hard work is overrated. We will see about that. Do you see these roof shingles? I need you to hammer each one into the roof with a nail so that no more water can drip into my home. Bo reluctantly took the tools and got to work. This was going to be the most work he had ever done. At first, Bo was really bad at hitting the nails. Most of the time, he hammered his thumb instead. Ouch! 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 Luckily, things with the band were going great. They played concert after concert, and everyone still couldn't believe how amazing Bo was at playing the violin. We love you, Bo! Crazy fans would scream. Bo was happier than ever. I always knew I could do it! But no matter how much fun Bo was having pretending to play music at night, he still had to show up at the cricket's house every morning and work all day hammering nails into the roof. Surprisingly, he started to get really good with the hammer. Now he only hit his thumb once a day instead of 20. By the time his new roof was almost finished, the cricket was very pleased with Bo's hard work. You may not be able to play the violin, but you have mastered the banging of the hammer, said the cricket. Yeah, I guess I am pretty good with this old thing, gloated Bo as he tossed the hammer up in the air. But there was one little thing that Bo forgot. What goes up must come down. He was so proud of himself that he forgot to catch the hammer and let it fall past his face, slide down the roof, and plummet to the ground. Bo didn't think anything of it until he heard the cricket scream from down below. Yeah, my leg is broken! That's right, the hammer broke the cricket's leg. Bo climbed down from the roof in a hurry and couldn't believe what had happened. Oh no, I'm so sorry, said Bo as he picked up the hurt cricket. It's true, the poor thing had a broken leg. Bo realized what this meant. With a broken leg, there is no way the cricket could play. Everyone is gonna know that I'm a fake, he said. You must tell the truth, Bo. It is the only way, the cricket said. Bo knew the cricket. It's a gift, replied Cricket. Open it once you are on your way. Bo walked for over a mile to go see his frog friends. With each step forward, he thought of having to tell the truth and gave him a stomach ache. This wasn't going to be easy. When Bo arrived at the concert, he decided to face the music and tell the truth. 
As you would expect, the band was very upset, but they appreciated the fact that he faced up to his mistake. Bo walked away sad, but felt proud that he did the right thing. He began his lonely walk home, and that's when he remembered the gift that the cricket gave him. It was still in his hand. He opened the box and saw a shiny cowbell and small hammer. There was also a note that read, Dear Bo, this is the musical instrument that I have been training you to play this whole time. To play the cowbell is to hammer a nail, you see? You have done the hard work. Now show those froggy legs what you've learned to do. Your friend, Cricket. This whole time, the cricket was tricking little Bo Fox into practicing an instrument without even knowing it. Bo picked up the cowbell and gave it a bang. Wow, that sounds really good! With his head held high, he marched back to the concert hall, and the music they made, well, made history. Bo Little played the cowbell so well that he became a permanent member of the Frog Legs and traveled all over the world performing. There's nothing like hard work. If you love something and dream of becoming great at it, practice every day and you will be able to accomplish anything. And that's all for now.